Mama alert! <sighs> All right, here we go. Wait, can I get in trouble for this? Marty, I'm scared. All right, so obviously I've got some news to share with you guys, so let's just get into this. All right, so if you guys are like me, which I know obviously tons of you are, you really value taking care of not only your mental health, but your physical health, especially as a vegan athlete. And a huge part of that is incorporating supplements into your daily routine. Now you guys know, I've been a proud ambassador for Vivo Life for years now. I mean, like since the Veg Fests in 2017, 2018, I've always been super vocal about how I support them, how I love their products, how I use them. But I have to say, today I have some pretty bittersweet news to share with you. So I'll just be straight with you guys. I've decided to part ways with Vivo Life as their brand ambassador. It really feels weird for me to say that because I mean, I've literally used their products and they're fantastic for years, but things have just gotten weird lately feels really rocky and it doesn't feel like the family that we once had and I just don't feel aligned with them anymore recently they've made some changes that I just wasn't super thrilled about and like one of the things was they wouldn't allow customers to repeat use discount codes so you could use the discount code once if you were a brand new first-time customer and then you could never use it again and dude I like saving money just as much as the next person I love incentives I can't tell you how many times I've got messages from you guys asking me why my discount code doesn't work and then I never honestly really understood the reasoning behind what I was saying when I'd message you guys back about it. They've also been steadily increasing their range, you know, releasing new products over the years. And I think they're good products. You know, they're well sourced with good ingredients and stuff. But at this point, I probably use less than half of the line that they have available. It feels like they're going more of the route of like a lifestyle brand and less of the fitness athlete route. So, you know, it's cool, but it just doesn't really feel aligned to me. The last thing for me is it just honestly does not feel like a family anymore. Okay, so I'm sitting here, I'm editing this video right now, and I really wanted to add to what I'm saying here because to be completely honest, I feel pretty disrespected. I was one of the first people on Vivo Life, and let's be honest, the reason the company became so big was because of the name recognition from having all the creators on the team at the same time. At first, it really felt like they understood this, right? But after the lockdowns in 2020, everything changed. It seemed like the whole dynamic of the company just flip-flopped and went the other direction. It felt like the only thing that mattered was the bottom line profitability. And it really started to feel like we were like some sort of like a burden because of the way all of the communications evolved. Felt like I wasn't even talking to humans anymore. For a specific example, a few months ago, they had started to talk about removing our discount codes entirely. I, I said, this is so stupid. I had this really bad idea. And then they did it anyways. So you might have noticed that Brian 10 for the last couple months hasn't been working. It's still not working. And I tried to explain to them, you know, people love incentives and all online companies with an ambassador team have discount codes. People are used to it. They expect it to not have it is just really stupid for a million different reasons. And then the way they responded to me, it just felt like I was talking to like AI, like chat GPT or something, right? They'd say, <laughs> We hear you and we are working hard in the background to find a solution that works for everyone. Or like a few times they would say that they'd get back to me soon and then it would literally take two or three months just to get a single email back. And what happened next is what really felt weird and, and honestly what felt like really disrespectful, right? Without telling me, they just started lowering the amount of supplements that they would send to me each month, lower and lower and lower, to the point that I can't even have more than one bag of protein covered and sent to me. So like, if you guys don't know, when people are on a team for a company, usually the company will send out like a stipulation of the products monthly to the ambassador. That way, as the content creator, you can talk about it in your content, you can use it, all that good stuff. And originally, I would just send them an email with anything I needed to be restocked on. But now I got to the point where I was actually having to purchase their products myself because my budget was less than $100 and one bag of their protein is like 65 bucks. So they have 20 different products and I'm really only able to get one product. This started to feel really ridiculous. So there's a lot more stuff that I'm not going to get into, but that's just a specific example that I wanted to add in because I felt like this video was getting a little bit too diplomatic and I wanted to give you guys transparency so that you really understand why I and some of the other people are really frustrated. Okay, so that's it. Let's get back to the video. Back when I started on Vivo Life, the team was Nimai, John, Simnet, 
me and it felt exciting. We helped build the company from the ground up. It became a household name. Literally everybody knew about Vivo in the vegan fitness world on YouTube, on Instagram. It seemed like all of the vegan fitness influencers and creators were on the team and we'd get together for these like really cool subscriber meetups. We'd go to, you know, Veg Fest as Vivo. The whole squad would get together at least once a year, usually more. And it was honestly, for me, it was one of my favorite times in my entire YouTube career. And I've been doing videos for like, 11 years. To me, it just doesn't feel that way anymore. And that's okay. But sometimes, honestly, you just gotta know when it's time to let go. Do it. I am absolutely stoked to announce that I am now a brand ambassador for Veg Nutrition. Trust me when I say, dude, their products are freaking fire. And the best part, they let you reuse our discount codes. Sick. So when you want to stock back up, there's actually an incentive for you to save a little bit of money. Seriously, guys, I am really hyped about this. A huge thing for me in the last couple years is following my intuition and not ignoring it, not shoving it down. And if something doesn't feel aligned for me, then I know that I need to change it because I feel like most people can tell when you're not excited, when you're not inspired by something you're a part of. And as most of you guys do know, Nimai Delgado is the owner of Veg. And in the background, we've been talking about this for about a year and Sam has been yelling at me for like six months to make this change. She's giggling in the background over here. So some of the things that I really like about Veg that make it feel aligned for me is that as they expand their brand, as they drop new products, the things that I actually agree with, things that I feel like I would formulate if I was running a supplement company, because they're all aimed at the vegan fitness realm and they're things that I actually take. Like for example, of course they've got the protein, which I think tastes even better than Vivo Life. They've got the B12, vitamin D, omega-3 combo. They've got the greens, all of that stuff, super fire. But they also have really unique stuff like a pre-workout with beetroot powder in it. You guys know how much I love my beets. They've got the nitro pump, which is like a pre-workout without any stimulants. They've got a turmeric with black pepper product. Everything in their lineup is really dope. And I'm also hearing what they're gonna come out with behind the scenes. And I'm super excited about those products too. Also, everything in their range is certified USDA organic, third-party tested for pure it's all made in the USA. This one's really important for me. None of it has artificial flavors or sweeteners, any of that kind of stuff. And because I'm a really good friend with Nimai, I've watched him and his team literally develop veg over the last couple years, improving things, getting feedback from customers, reiterating the products until they're completely satisfied with them. And I love everything. Plus, I've been able to take the products over the last few months consistently. And I, I'm telling you, man, I'm stoked. This stuff is fire. Also, a lot of my really good friends are with veg like you guys know Dragon and Amanda Sevilla, Bianca Taylor, Will Brooks, a whole bunch of people are joining and it feels to me like we're rebuilding that family aspect that I miss and I think that this team is seriously gonna have a huge impact to give veganism a good name in the fitness world. So. This is just the beginning of an amazing partnership. It's also the beginning of era two, is which is what I'm calling it. For me and my channels, I'm feeling aligned, I'm feeling inspired, I'm feeling excited. It just feels right. So go try out their products. I guarantee you guys are gonna absolutely love everything they have. I'll put the link in the description below. You can also always use Brian 10 to get a discount on your orders. And also just for this month, if you DM me with a receipt after buying anything from Veg, I'll send you all three of my recipe books. I usually sell it for $40. I'll send it to you completely for free. So that's it. I will always love and appreciate Vivo Life, but for me, it is time to start a new chapter with Veg Nutrition. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me on this journey. Now let's go crush some goals. By the way, this is literally the best vegan protein I've ever had. Peace out.